Hello everybody, welcome back. Yes, it's me yet again. And you know what it's time for? It's time to get messy again. Yes, today we're going to be doing some more messy creative macro photography, shall we say. But it's wet, it's windy outside, we don't want to go out, drain our bugs about, let's be creative. And that's what these videos are all about, about trying to be creative. Massive thank you to everybody who posted and commented on my last video, I really am overwhelmed with everybody welcoming me back to my YouTube. And I really, most of all, love the fact that everybody is getting involved and working together as a team. I absolutely, you know, I've tried some of the stuff that you've told me and it has worked very good, to be honest, very good. I can't say it hasn't because it has. And this is what all my videos are about. All my videos are about learning. And my channel is a family. It's all about getting together and learning more. I've got a couple of pictures first to show you before we go any further, because these have been sent me along with hundreds of us, should I say, but I've picked two out, especially. The first one has come from Roland, Roland Juice. Now, sorry, Mr. Roland, if I've got your name wrong, but I'm a bit with names. This picture, I totally love. And I love the way you've positioned the oil bubble. You've actually done what a lot of people have told me to do, I think. I think you've actually dropped the oil one by one and placed it. And that has worked fantastic. You've actually got on the ruler first, top left hand ruler first, along with a tiny little planet running back. That is absolutely fantastic. And I love the little bit of a light ray you've caught at the bottom. This is fantastic, so thank you very much. The next one comes from Nina Powell Shields. Another great picture, as you can see. This one I love as well, because I love the vibrant colour. Nina is, to be fair, one of my long-time subscribers, and I know she is a fantastic photographer. And thank you very much, Nina, for sending me this. I'm honoured for you letting me use it. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. Does anybody know where this is? I'd like to thank my fellow good friend, Tom Forbes, for sending me this fantastic hoodie over from where he comes from. I'm not saying where, but I'm absolutely love it. I've sort of classed this now as my lucky hoodie at the moment, and it's lovely and warm as well. So if you know where this is, please leave your answers in the box below. Okay, that's that over with. Right, today, last week we did oil, water, this week, we're going to stick on the same sort of subject, but what we're going to actually use this time is we're going to use milk and paint. Now, I have seen this done. We're using ink, I know it's milk, oil, and paint, but I'm going to try something different. I want to try and make something abstract -y. something abstract -y, something quick that we all can do, do at home without spending lots of money. This is what I'm trying to aim on. I'm trying to aim on something quick, simple, but works brilliant. So like I says, I'm gonna get the stuff out now and we'll have a look. As you can see, I've taken my hoodie off. There's no way I'm gonna get that dirty or, you know, messed up today. Right, it's a simple setup, exactly, well, the same as last time, should I say. I've got a tray here, this is a clear tray, which I'm going to try in a, some, a bit, something a tiny bit different to the normal, what I'm going to do. I ain't tried it, so if it goes wrong, at least it'll be on the video. The first thing is, is just, I've got, is a plain white plate. That is it. This is, all this is for is my milk. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and keep this video because I had a comment saying that my other video is a bit too long, so I'm gonna try and keep this bit short. All I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put the tiniest bit of milk in. I just wanna cover the bottom. That is it. I don't want too much milk or waste too much milk. Now, I cocked up on the last one because I was trying to focus and it was struggling to focus. And somebody had the great idea, which I should have really thought about it, was to use a cocktail stick, to drop the cocktail stick on the top of the milk, focus on the bottom of the cocktail stick, 
Any picture's going to be perfect. Why did I think of that? Ding. That's why I says I like the comments because sometimes you don't think of everything. So it's nice when people, you know, share and tell you you've made wrong or you've done wrong. Now, this is going to be simple. And all I'm going to do is I will lit the other one up from underneath. We bounce the light down and it come up and light it. I'm lighting this one from on top. Now these are the lights I says I'll put a link to. I'm going to do it like so I'm putting a link to them today in the video. These are just two little lights that change colour from Amazon and they're absolutely powerful. On the remote control there, you can control the lights, you can control what colours you want it, you control the beam and the power of the light. But believe me, they are very, very, very bright. Trust me, really bright. But they're absolutely ideal. But they're about £15, like I says, and did the job. So today, we're using these. So that's that set, that's that set. Now, paint. I'm using acrylic paint. This is just normal acrylic paint. Well, to be fair, my son's stepson's into Warhammer and painting, so I've just borrowed some of his. And the best about this is, these come with a tiny little nib on the top, so I can place it on, meaning that I haven't got to use what I should have used on my last video again, a syringe to drop my ink or my oil in, and that'd work better. So we got that. And I've just got a tiny bit of paint in there. Like I says, you really, you need something to tip in later because this gets dead messy, but there's nothing odd about this at all. Nothing. Just gonna slide it underneath the camera. I have got this pre-focused, flat, plain, flat as perfect as possible. Let's turn the camera on. I can't even want to come up. There you go. Oh my go. And we're away with the mixer. Now we need to add as much light as we can. To the milk if you don't add as much light to the milk it looks absolutely vile and rubbish but first of all what we're going to do is we're going to get some colors i'm just going to get one color first and i want to don't forget i want this to be abstracty i want people to think what is this or what could it be it's all about looking at the picture looking deep into the picture seeing what you can see can you visualize something if you can let me know in the comments all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop one single drop in the middle of it. That is it. That is, that is it. Now, the next ingredient, what I should have said is a bit of dishwasher soap again. And all I'm going to do is add the dishwasher soap to the middle, like that. What this does is, because acrylic paint is oil-based, this actually makes... There are cracks into the oil and the base of the paint, which breaks it all up, which is hopefully going to give us the abstractive feeling. Let's add another colour to it. This one's red. Straight to the middle again. One drop. That's all we need. And there she goes. And she's just working her magic round. Now we need is light. And these are where these lights absolutely come in, the, in impeccable brilliance. Switch them on, and we're just going to shine it over. Now, the best about these are um, they tilt up and down. So all you got to do is tilt it on, and that is it. If you need to get it any more up and down, simple. Get some blue tack, put it underneath, put them underneath your your lights. It's all I do. And then it shines perfect where you want. Let's do the other one while we may as well in it. And you can see, the more light you put in it, the better you're going to get. And what we're after is our swirly effects. So let's have a go. Now I've literally dabbed that into there and rubbed it off because I don't want a lot on. All I want it on is just on that little bit of a centre. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub it through. And there you go. You can start seeing the pictures I want.
And what I want is a pearly essence colour. And all we're going to do is put a bit more in. And we're just going to keep adding little bits. And, you know, don't rush. And just give them a bit of a swell. Oh, look at that. That is divine. Right. Let me have a look at my camera settings. Right, I'll go to an F4. I'm going to knock the F4 down to F3.2. I'm going to move me ink around because where it's gone is not where I want it. I could have moved the camera, but I don't want to move the camera. I don't want to displace it, should I say. So what I'm going to do is move it. I'm going to move that one light to get it on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in. And then when I get it fairly where I know I want it, I'm getting this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that underneath here. I'm going to touch where it is. And then focus in. Till I've got the exact sharpness I want. Then all this is then scattered, like I says, moving around. Taking a shot, have a look. Beautiful. Now that's a little bit too bright, so what I'm gonna do is I've got a choice here. I'm on a 50th of the shutter power. It looks nice, so do I need to either up the F, stop to something, I don't know, say maybe F4, F5, F6, or should have the shutter. I'm going to bank on doing the shutter speed. I think the shutter speed is better because we can freeze it more. So let's get the shutter speed up. So I've gone now to 180th. Picture, have a look. Beautiful, the light's perfect, meaning I can either go up again. So what I'm going to do, I can put the f-stop up now because I know it's still a bit bright. Get a bit more detail into it. Take another shot. Perfect, that's enough, that's enough. Now let's take, let's start messing around with the inks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swirl it around. And I'm gonna get on it. There you go. Have a look, see what I got. It's like, it's, it's magnificent, 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 sir. Let's add a bit more ink. And as you can see, the more you add, the more you make, you can add whatever you want to these pictures. And draw whatever you want, make whatever you want. It's all abstracty. Abstracty is, you know, thinking what the picture is, you know, trying to work out. Now I quite like that, and I think that is really nice. The simple thing is, is when you get fed up, when you get fed up with the colour, all you do is start the colour away and restart again. And then I ain't going to say it's waste. Well, it's photography. And you got something to sit here and do all day. What are you going to do otherwise? What I've done as well is on a few of my pictures, I've got a lot closer. I've gone down loads, and this there's a this one's grey, and this works fantastic for black and white. I'm just going to keep putting all the stuff in there and see what we get. And like I say, I'll just put the pictures up. <laughs> really, I need to be moving the plate round. That's better. If I move the plate round, this is gonna keep, you know, say rotating it in Lightroom or Photoshop. Just take a couple, move this light round. Because like I say, light's the key. Fantastic little bright light these are. 
Now, not so this change any colour. Oh. Let's try a blue one. Wow. Divine, divine. I like that. I like that. I do like that. That is really as technical as it gets. And But this is something that we can do, like I said, on a rainy day. And the fun never ends. You're never going to get the same picture. It's always going to be different. What I want to try and do now is use this, but I want to try and light it up from the bottom instead of lighting it from the top and see how I get on with that one. Now, when I say trust me, trust me, I have not tried this before. I'm using the virtually the same settings, but so I'm gonna to have to work them out as I go along. What I have done is I've put a cocktail stick on there, focused in to get the picture. All I've done is this tray here is a Ferrero Rocher tray. Just to, you know, like the sweets. I rescued it because it was nice and clear. Now, all I've done is I've put a dash of milk in, and when I mean a dash, I mean just a little bit of a dash. Don't need a lot. Don't, I just want to literally cover the bottom as fine as I can because I want the light to shine through. I've named, I ain't tried this, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. We're going to have a look now. If it works, I want you to tell me how you, how you, what you think. These lights, like I said, are brilliant because we can turn them up whatever way we want. So, they're fantastic. So, all I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to put them underneath there. Like I says, where I want them. And create the picture I want. Before he had the ink. So, now I've got the perfect background. Well, I think I have until I put the ink on top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with... Uh, an orange colour first, just to see what happens. I'm just going to put one dot on, just literally to see what happens. Did you see that? <laughs> so we've got that dot on there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the fairly liquid, the, the, the dish, top, dish soap detergent in the middle where the paint was, and just see what happens. Can you see that? Whoa. All right, let me try some other colours. That's working quite well as of what I can see at the minute. What I might have to do is add a tiny little bit more milk, I think. What? I've got to take a shot, is it working? It's a bit bright, come on Lee. Think about it, think about it, think. I'm gonna put the shutter straight up because it's a bit bright. I'm gonna go up to, ooh, come on, think quick. I'm gonna to have to drop it up to 160th. Have a look. That's a bit better. I missed that then because of that. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, put the color light. That seems to be working. What are you thinking? Yay, nay, is it any good? Any good? Let's try changing the colours quickly. Oh, look at that. Yes. Let's have a look. It looks quite funky to me, to be honest. Like, yeah, man, hippie. Well, I ain't too bad. I quite like that. That ain't bad. And that's just for these lights. Let's light it up. Lighten it up from underneath. That works quite well. What do you think of that one?
I'm always getting in trouble. I think Mrs. H is gonna get, kick me out. Or oh, I'll just pull that into the washing up bowl and just covered and thin of ink and paint. Well, you know, that, can't help it. Creativity comes with the price, don't it? That's what I'll say. <laughs> so uh, let's have a quick roll. All you need is a plate. Like I said, a little white plate or a clear one. I like the clear one. Let me know how, that, how you think of them ones. Does it work? Don't it work? Is it better than the ones with on the plate? I don't know. Some acrylic paint, ink. Why do we use acrylic? Acrylic's all base, like I say. So when you add the dish dessert, dish detergent into it, it displaces it and blows it all out. I enjoy this sort of tofu because it opens your mind up. I call it, like, should I say, the lost soul of photography because you can spend hours and lose yourself in it. It is the creativity of photography. Those little lights, absolutely, like I said, work a treat, and I will leave a link in the description for them. They are a bargain. You get two, like I say, it comes with remote control, £15, and they're like mini, the mini spotlights, mini LED spotlights, but the change, RGB mini LED spotlights is the name, but the change colours. Now I'm gonna ask you a little question. I'm gonna ask a few more people on social media. I'm thinking about doing a live. Well, not one live, a series of lives. Because I've enjoyed the interaction from all you viewers. With the help of you, should I do a live where we can all, once a week, twice a week, well, once a week, every other week, once a month, all get together, talk, and, and, and go through some pictures or what you think works best on this video or uh, pick my brain and let me pick your brains as well and this way then we can all sort of like I says work as a team but I've got to have your dedication as well if you want me to do it I will do it I'm going to set it all up well, I'm going to do my best to set it all up so we can all talk and get on like I says thanks everybody for the pictures and like I says who know it could be you and your picture next on my video like I says, you know, I appreciate you sending me and I appreciate you watching my videos. If you're new to the channel, feel free feel free to subscribe. And main thing is just hit the like button now on there because YouTube's algorithm pushes me down if I don't get any thumbs up or likes or you know subscribers. It sort of gets buried and I want to build on my channel. I want to create. So thank you very much for getting to the end of this one and roll on the next one. Stay safe and happy snapping.